with congenial young men. Object, matrimony. Reply, box 204J. Probably some old crab with a face that would stop a clock. I wouldn't want to marry her no matter how much money she had. Well, I'd marry her. You would? Well, after all, beauty's only skin deep. I'd take some of the money and I'd have her face lifted. Then I could settle down and I, I wouldn't have to scrape chins anymore. Wouldn't have to work hard anymore. Tell me that again. Huh? Let me hear that again. Well, if, if beauty was only knee, skin deep, I could take some of the money and I could have her skinned and then she'd be able to look at the clock without having to work hard anymore. Then we could settle down and I could scrape her chin and congenial if, if I didn't have to work hard anymore. That's a good idea. You bet your life it's a good idea. I'm going to answer this right away. I might have what do you mean, you're going to answer it? Well, I found it. I'll tell you what we'll do. What? We'll make a gentleman's agreement. We'll both answer it. And may the best man win. Dear Mrs. Fox 204J. Give me your letter and I'll mail it for you. What does PTO mean? Please turn over. Sealed with a kiss. things away and give me a shave. Another Oliver? Is he to share the same fate as the other seven Olivers? And why not? It was an Oliver who first came into my life and double-crossed me. Left me on the eve of my wedding. And I've sworn to take revenge on every Oliver that crosses my path. Strange. That on the eve of every wedding, you walk in your sleep. And in the morning, a body is found with its throat cut. <laughs> Make preparations for Oliver the Eighth. Very well, madam. I'm sitting on top of the world. Hello, Oliver. Hello, Stanley. Where'd you go? 
I was just down the street. I went to have a shave. Just rolling along. Where are you going? You remember that wealthy young widow we wrote to? Yeah. Well, while you were out, I got a letter from her. And she fell for me like a ton of bricks. We're going to be married as soon as I can get there. <laughs> Did you fall for that old crab after all, all you said? <laughs> Take a look at that. Boy, she's a pip. Isn't she? I wonder what she can see in you. Well, she probably thinks... What do you mean, what she can see in me? Well, it's funny she, she never answered my letter. Well, there's nothing funny about that. You just ain't the type. <laughs> well, now that you're going to be married, what, what are we going to do with the shop? That's entirely up to you. You can do just what you please with it. Well, aren't I going with you? I'm afraid not. I'm sorry, but my social position won't permit it. Goodbye. Bye. I'm sitting on top of the world, just rolling along. Good evening. The name, please. Oliver Novel Hardy. I'd like to see the future Mrs. Hardy. <laughs> Come in. Thank you. We'll be right down. Thank you. Will you be seated? Yes, surely. <laughs> nice weather we had tomorrow. It certainly... You. What are you doing here? Well, all's fair in love and war. Well, fair or no fair, you're going to give me my share of this fortune or I'll tell her all about you. You didn't mail my... What do you mean, your share? Well, I want half of what you're going to get. You want half of what I'm going to get? You bet your life, I want my cut. And I'm going to stay right here till I get it. All right. If you'll keep your mouth shut, I'll see that you get it. Okay. What'd you do with the barber shop? I sold it. How much did you get? Well, I, I didn't exactly sell it. I, I swapped it. You swapped it? Yeah, he was a very nice fellow. Look what he gave me. Look. Solid gold. And he told me to keep it till we got back on the gold standard. So I'm going to hide it someplace. And maybe in time... Is this all you got? No, he was very generous. Guess what he threw in for good measure. What? Some nuts. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Oliver. My queen. What is that? What? This! Oh, that's my friend, Mr. Laurel. <clears throat> Come, Oliver. Let's make plans for the wedding. Very well, dear. Please go down. 
down there. <laughs> Take a card. Go on, take one. Show it to me. The seven of diamonds. Right? Here, show it to your friend. Go on, show it to him. Go on, show it to him. Oh! <laughs> Look. Take a card. What? Take a card. Take a card. Look what he did. You may serve dinner, Jitters. Yes, madam. You dropped one. Thank you. You dropped one. What's the matter with him? He's crazy. He imagines things. Is he dangerous? Not if you humor him. Have you a pair of scissors? Come, Oliver. Your glass, please. Madame? Oh, thank you, Jitters. Uh, your plate, please. Uh, very little, Jitters. The crackers, please. The crackers. <laughs> crackers? Pass the salt, please. The salt. This is the pepper. Oh, so it is. The salt. Salt? Thank you. Salt?
You're using the wrong fork. You're nuts. Who said I was nuts? She did. <laughs> Can I speak to you two gentlemen a moment? Will you pardon us, please? Will you be careful? That's crazy, not me. Did you ever have your throat cut? No. Well, you're going to. What do you mean? When you're asleep tonight, she's going to come into your room and cut your throat. The same as she did to seven other Olivers. <laughs> We better get out of here. I think so too. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, just a minute. Are all the doors locked? Yes, madame. The windows barred? Yes, madame. Show these gentlemen to the guest chamber in the left wing. Yes, madame. Goodbye, Oliver the Eighth. I hope you have a nice, long sleep. That's another nice mess you've gotten me into. What are we going to do? I'm scared to death. There's only one thing to do. One of us will have to stay awake all night to keep her from cutting my throat. Well, I can't stay awake all night. You don't have to. We'll take turns. I'll sleep a while while you stay awake, and then while you sleep, I'll stay awake. She'll not catch us napping. Very simple. Here, hang my coat in the closet. That's a good idea, Ollie. You bet your life it is. No, sir. She won't catch us, Nippy. Stay awake while he's... Look, look what I found. Is it loaded? It's a good thing you went inside them. If, give me that gun and get ready for bed. Inside them. Oh. Is everything in readiness? Are you sure the knife is good and sharp? Yes, my dad. Now, whatever you do, don't go to sleep until I wake up. And if you see her coming, use the gun. Good night. Good night. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Do you want me to get my throat cut? No. Well, then don't go to sleep. Well, I can't tell when I'm asleep. That's why I want you to stay awake, so that you can see that you're not asleep. Well, I couldn't help it. I was dreaming I was awake. And then I woke up and found myself asleep.
are you trying to do? Can't you stay awake without getting into mischief? Well, I can't stay awake if I've got nothing to occupy my mind. To do something. Fall asleep if I don't... I'll give you something to occupy your mind. What's this for? That's merely for my own protection. That's so you'll keep awake. As the flame gets near the string, you move the string down. If you don't, the flame will burn the string, the string will release the brick, and the brick will hit you on the head. Now you've got something to occupy your mind. You'll have to stay awake. Good night. Ollie. What? Don't look now, but there's a man's hand holding onto the foot of the bed. Get that gun and shoot to kill. Take it easy now. Shoot me first. Well, go on. Get but oh. Why don't you sleep in bed? You catch a death of cold sleeping here all night.